Alright guys, before we go on, um, yeah, the bulbs in these traffic lights, the halogen bulbs that go in these traffic lights, are basically a bigger version of a Christmas light bulb. So yeah, if you guys have got like halogen fairy lights like I have, this is an, this is an old set that he used to have, throwing me off on your set of warm white fairy lights. Halogen little bulb. They call them fairy light balls, but they're not. They don't look, they don't look like fairy lights at all. They don't look like fairies. So yeah, basically this one that has but bigger. Now I'm going to demonstrate this traffic, both these traffic lights. Starting starting with my uh, white testing symbol. So here it is. It's the front of it. Now this thing is not very yellow, it's actually in pretty good condition apart from some scuffing. There's some scuffing on the bottom of the light, but that's probably from when the um, light was on the street and it was getting kicked up with dust and stuff. And, um, you know, kicked by rocks, car incidents. So these traffic lights can take a beating. Polycarbonate, plastic on the back here. Okay, it's all polycarbonate. So you don't have to wait. Baking. And now here's the front of it. No, here's my condenser dryer. The side view. And there's little labels there actually. It said it was made in 2010. So this is newer than this one. But they are both peak trap lights and the design hasn't changed that much. Now, these, these no right turn units would go on the side, on, on one of these sides of the lights, or on the bottom of the light. Here's the back. And the kind of dryer's finished. So yeah, there's the logo. On the bottom there, it just says peak. Now, the, now some of them would say peak traffic, but this one just says peak. There's your certificate established mark, and there is a mold mark, and here's the wire on it. Nice, thick, heavy duty wire, like what you're selling on high performance product. Although, travel lights are not high performance products, they still need good power cords. That's what the power cord looks like. Now, I'm going to show you the plug. This plug is an ML Knightsbridge plug, classic plug. Yeah, there you go. This book was made in 2019. So this thing was up quite recently. And yeah, 13 amp fuse this thing's got on it. This has got one of those D-shaped, two D-shaped lights in them. And what have both of these lights plugged into, I'll show you. This is what I've been plugged into. This is what's called a adapter, and it basically allows you to add more more light, more things to it. Now sometimes some of them have three plugs, but this one just has two plugs. Unfortunately, I don't care. So yeah, oh, plug in the um. We'll demonstrate the no right turn signal first. If the one is wide, this wide up, so it will just turn on when you turn on the when you turn on the switch. However, I planned to put a remote on this so I can turn it on with the lights. So I'm gonna get another remote. I've got some spare like remote controls and stuff that I can use this on and some old lights and stuff. So yeah, I'll probably wire up to the remote control. So for example, when I Turn just this on. Just turn just this on. Or oh, oh, well, or oh, oh well, it's like a little light switch to it. Now it's going to be wired. You can see because because um look, see it, you can see exposed wires down there. So we have to not touch that anyway. Turn on this stuff like now. It's preheat. So we the first light wall fans. This is your this, this is your favorite part. 
preheat. It's got a nice ballast sound to it as well. Let's do that one more time. Sometimes it starts instantly. So yeah. Anyways, now we'll um, demonstrate the pink pepper light. Now I'm gonna leave. I'm going. I'm going to leave the no right to this too long since you can't off. And I'll turn off this now. So yeah, because that turns on because it plugs to adapter. Um, yeah. That will turn on when you turn on the adapter. So yeah. This is the um, pink pepper light. So, as you can see, it's very sun bleached or, or, or yellowed, and it's quite scratched up as well. So, yeah, these can be opened, but I'm not going to. Okay, it's an electric shock wrist. This is 400 volts, and that can potentially kill you. So, yeah. Right, as you can see. This is a pretty big tough light, and I'm not going to be able to show you the sight blush to it from like this in this position. This is what it looks like from the side. It's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, very big indeed. And now here's the logo. I have to, I have to be careful with this because this is really heavy, and I don't want to scratch anything. This is much heavier than the um, than the, the no right turn signal. Now that it's on the logo there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you guys see the logo on it? Oops, I'm gonna have to. Oh no. This is not going to plan. Anyways, the logo is there. See it? It says peak traffic and not and not peak, just like the um no right turn signal. It's also still got its hooks in it as well, which makes it really heavy. That's why this blanket's behind it because it's protecting the light from hit from from the dam from damage getting damaged. It's covering up the walls. So yeah, it's got steel mounting brackets on it, and I'll show you the plug on this thing now. So, um, yeah. Now, if this was a real if this was a real traffic light, I'd have like a vacuum tube on it, like a hose going over the wires to protect it. This one does not though. Because it's been, because it, because when the because when you plug when you remove the from the pole, you have to take that off. Now the cord is exactly the same. So it hasn't got the rising on it. Actually, does it? Does it? Oh, it's time the light it's came on without me knowing. Right, I'll show you the plug. Here is the plug. It's got a plastic plug. This one's made by a company called H. And it's slightly different shape and slightly different design. Model number OHP02. Now, Benno has a Siemens version of this. Oh, yeah, the brand of this. Oh, that I'm using is called Se Seiko. So, yeah. And I'll turn that on. Plug it in. And I'll demonstrate it to you guys. Before I do, though, um, some of the little the little, there's these little screws with, there's these little bolt, plastic, plastic bolts that have, that have no rivets on them. And um, what these do is these keep, these keep the um, shades on. However, this won't, these won't come off because, um, unless you put it like that. So yeah, no worries there. But as long as it's got one of them, and you can't put it off from the top, so you, you can't put it off, but you can, like, push, pull it out, but you can't put it off now. Before, it, this, the video I previously made out of this, it didn't have the little, it didn't have these at all, because they were still being shipped to us. Also, another thing, guys, um, the, the green bulb was not working originally on this light. Now it does work, because the um, salad sent us the bulb for it, and the spare bulbs... They look just like this with the holes. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but... Yeah, they look like Christmas light bulbs. So basically, just, just imagine a Christmas light bulb. 
but bigger. So yeah, but and guys, I am. I commented the green looks like. I, this is my first time seeing a green in person. But it's green. I'm ready to see it. Wow, looks good, doesn't it, guys? Now the green is not as bright as the red and the amber. I'm thinking that the green will be been used a lot in the light before, and it's probably going to die soon. So yeah. I might have to replace the green ball, but as you can see, it is still really bright regardless. And if I actually take my phone case here, it can illuminate the border of my phone case. Look, see that? It's like illuminating my phone case. The green ball, like I said, it's not as bright. Now, my dad thinks this is actually the biggest halogen, quite optic. And let me just turn this off a second. Basically, the way these, the lights work is. Um, it's, it's got a frame all ends on it, which you look at it puts a certain position. And what what the frame all ends does is it basically stops, basically basically stops the sun's leg and getting on the eyes. Now Peak used frame all ends on the LED traffic lights until twenty sixteen, when they changed to the TLED, which is a silver lens, and it uses coloured lenses now. The old design was better, in my opinion. It's back on. Yeah. Oh, I need to show you the battery in this actually. The battery in this remote is. Looks like it has a AAA battery in it, but no. I'll show you. No, because you're probably thinking it uses an A because of the battery cover size, but no. It uses a. It uses a. It uses a 23A battery, which it's like half the size of a AAA. Look how tiny that is, guys. That is the tiniest battery you can ever, I've ever seen. I mean, I was getting... I I got triple A's. Triple A's. Round, flying around. Yes, no, I'm not sure. Got a pack of double A's. I do not think we've got any double A bat no the triple A batteries lying around. But yeah, this battery is half the size of a triple A. That's a GP super battery. So yeah, 23 A battery is a smaller triple A battery pretty much. And it's actually it's only cutest battery ever. Put it back in now. So yeah, put these back in. Now we'll turn the light back on. I've got to turn it back on now. And we'll turn it back on. And we're going to check what to do. So I'll do the sequence on it. We can do the sequence. So yeah, put the cover back on. So we just slide it on. Oh, geez, I'm afraid that's not my company destroyer. Anyway, let's turn on the... So... B for green, C for orange or amber or yellow, and A for red. So we'll start with green. Here's amber. Green. green. I brought this up to three bulbs. And now here is the red. Now I'll demonstrate it doing its changing function. So yeah. Now there's a pelican sequence now, so the pelican crossing sequence. Okay, that's weird.
Did the back fuse die or something? Did the fuse blow? I'm not sure. But yeah. That's weird. Right, I'm plugging it in and it back in. Okay. This thing's gonna need a new fuse put in it. Yeah, that's 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 all unfortunate. But the traffic light does work. But yeah, it's gonna need a new it's gonna it's gonna need a new fuse. But yeah guys, the traffic light does work and yeah. Thanks for watching this video. See and see ya.